Hi. In this overview, I will demonstrate the secure portal setup and login management flow. We will start by creating the secure portal. We'll go in Doxy, select Organization button in the top right corner, choose Portal Deployments, and then select Create a new deployment. The secure deployment can be published on our portals of doxy.io or on any other authorized domain that has already been added to the account. Okay. Now let's go ahead and choose what we are deploying. There we go. We're going to deploy this particular shell. Everything else will it defaults except for the most important part, deployment security. Where we want to make sure we enable advanced security settings for portal deployment. We will leave the authorization fallback URL empty as it will be filled automatically by the secure enterprise portal deployment system setup. I'm going to go ahead and click create portal. Once the portal has been successfully created, we'll be presented with a window like this. Since the portal is going to be managed by Secure Enterprise Portal System, we don't need any of this information, so we'll just go ahead and close this window. We can scroll down to the very bottom. We see that the secure deployment has been created. We'll leave this alone for the time being. Now we will go ahead and navigate back into the docs hole. Click the organization icon in the top left corner again and select Enterprise Configuration Portal. This will open a new window where we will be able to see Enterprise Dashboard, something that looks like this. We can go ahead and switch to the Tenants and Viewers tab and provision a tenant. Click Add Tenants. I'm going to call it Secure Tenants. Status active or inactive, we'll choose active and then click create tenant. The system will now provision a new security tenant. A tenant in this case is a security entity that shares a common access with specific privileges to our portal if we wish to secure. Now we're going to go ahead and expand our secure tenant, click deployments and assign deployment. In the assignment deployment view, we will find a deployment that we just created called secure deployment and click assign deployment. From now on, the deployment has been assigned and it has been provisioned to allow the secure tenant to log in with provision under the secure tenant to log in into the portal. And now we're going to go ahead and click on viewer stamp, click invite viewer. In the email address field, we will enter a new viewer email that we wish to onboard. And then click send invitation. So at this point, our viewer should have received an in invite to the email provided. We are going to go ahead and onboard the viewer as if the viewer has received the email. Once the viewer clicks the invite inside the email, they will be redirected to an invitation to join the secure portal. A workflow that looks like this. So we're going to go ahead and choose the password for this viewer. That's special character. Okay. There we go. And then confirm our password. And finally click create account and join the secure talents. At this point, the user has received the OTP validation into their email. We're going to go ahead and copy the number that has been provided in the email and verify code. All right, 
and that has completely onboarded our user. We don't need to do anything else here. Now, what we have to do is return to Doxy. Back in our Doxy portal, I'm going to go back to portal deployments. And at this point, we can go ahead and provide the portal link to our user. Let's assume that we've done that and the user would be able to paste this link into their browser. When user attempts to access the link that we have provided, they will be redirected to our login flow where they will have to enter their email. The same email which we have already registered and onboarded them with, they will receive an OTP on the email provided. They will have to take the OTP number from the email and paste it into the view and click verify code. They should be redirected to the portal. And here we go. Now the user is able to view the information that was published.